Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Catch Monkey here back at Audi Denver to have a look at a gorgeous red Audi S4. I love this spec because we have the red stitching on the inside, which we're going to talk about when we talk about the interior. So I think Audi is crushing it right now with their sedans. They've always been this stately look to them, but added some sportiness with the S model, such as we have right here obviously with the 2023 S4. So we're going to talk of course about the front end design, the side view, the rear, the interior and this has the black optics package thankfully because it makes this car so much better. So let's start with the front end design. Let's have a look at some of the basic spec and tech of the 2023 Audi S4. We have a 3 liter turbo V6 putting out 349 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque connected to an 8 speed automatic transmission. It of course comes with the Audi Quattro all wheel drive system. 0 to 6 is done in 4.5 seconds with a fuel economy at 21 city 30 highway. The price for this is $68,000. Now what Audi have done fantastically since 2007 slash 8 when the Audi R8 first came out. It was the first production car to have these LED dots as the R8, the first generation is so known for. Since then they've worked very heavily into uh, fine tuning and developing the lighting technology for their cars. So have a look at this daytime running light that we have here with the indicator lights and these bars for the uh, LEDs looking very clean and chiseled. I think chiseled is the right name for the front end of the new S4. And of course what I love about this specific S4, this is probably most likely the spec that I would personally pick for my 2023 S4 because we have it in red. You want to have S cars being a little bit more shouty in its colors. So red, it doesn't get more shouty than that. And in addition, instead of having these silver pieces that we had on the S5 Sportback that I just reviewed that did not have the black optics package, this one has it. And it, you can clearly see that it looks, at least in my opinion, it looks so much better having these blacked out. You have the entire grille blacked out with the red S4 logo in the middle. Even the logo in the center is now black, looking absolutely fantastic. You also have this, a lot of chiseled chamfers going in to every, every corner of the grille has a connection to some sort of line in the front end. This hood line coming down to this section, this side chamfer underneath the headlight coming down into this area. Everything is connected in some way and that's what I love about Audi design. So looking at the 2023 S4 from a straight front for you like, like you're doing right now, is there something I would like to redesign here? Not so much when we have the black optics package. If it didn't have that, then we have these silver pieces here as we talked about and I don't think they look well integrated. We have gloss black right here and then we have matte black in these fake intakes on the side. So either have it be all gloss or all matte in my personal opinion. I'm not so sure about this upswing here that we have in this graphics because these two pieces this one and this one, they look like two different geometries and that's pretty much the only area in the front end that doesn't seem to be connected very well graphically. But other than that, the lines in the hood connecting to the grill, the lower sharpness that we have in these fenders, the radar sensors integrated in this black piece. We also have a fake vent up here bringing back that Ur Quattro design in the hood because that one had three slots in right underneath the hood just like we have here but they were actually functional in the rally car obviously here they're just for styling i think it still looks good though now coming around to the side view the s4 and i love what audi did to separate this the s4 from the a4 in the shoulder line because they added some wider fenders onto this car and they look so rally to me original ur quattro style with these fenders that we have cutting in here, creating a chamfer right over the rear axle. And then if we move up front, we have the same treatment in the front end right here. So adding some beefiness to this design. I absolutely love that. And overall, the proportions of Audi sedans these days are just spot on. They maybe are a little bit more rounded than what we have in the BMWs, for example, the 3 Series. But when it comes to the proportions, the boxiness, one box here, two box for the greenhouse, three boxes for the front end and the hood design. It's just a timeless design, this thing, in addition to the beautiful line flow that we have in the car. So what about the wheels and tires for the 2023 S4? In this case, we have 19 inch wheels, 255 millimeter wide tires all around. And I think just like with the S5 Sportback, I want to have maybe two 85s is maybe stretching it a little bit, but 275s in the rear just to have a bit of a wider stance for the rear wheels and also have them sit flush with the bodywork to have the proper planted stance 
specifically in the rear of this being a quattro all-wheel drive the power is obviously sent to all wheels meaning that they all have and i think that's one of the reasons why they're all pretty fat 255 specifically in the front end but since we have the black optics package in this case everything as you can see is black around the greenhouse we also have the black side mirrors instead of the silver ones and i said this in my s5 review as well i want to have I'm not sure if it's possible, but if it's possible, I would like to have everything blacked out like we have here, but still keep the silver side mirrors for the S4, because I think that has such an important historical design piece to S cars ever since they first started back in, I'm not sure, mid 90s when the first S cars and S cars came out. So I want to have everything black except for the side mirrors in this case. Looking further down, we do have this nice line that is typical Audi. German Scandinavian line this line cutting through both axles in the front and the rear and then coming back in the rear bumper as well overall red on black like this I absolutely love this spec one detail that I also really enjoy on this car it's a graphic detail is this side skirt I don't know if I should call it a side skirt or whatever this black piece at the bottom part because what this reminds me of when I was younger, I, I did my sort of intern in Sweden. We do internships when we're 14, 15 years old. And I did it at an Audi dealer, and they had the brand new Audi S3 there. And when you're that young, cars or whatever you're passionate about, it's, it feels more magical than, than it does when you're grown up. So I saw this RS4, the B5 RS4, and the uh, brand new S3 all the time. They had this big shelf here at the bottom, separating it from the normal A3 and the S, uh, A4s at the time. And I thought that was one of these pieces that is stuck in my mind to really plant the car even when I was 14, 15 years old, I thought about that. And this still has it down here. So I'm glad that they kept this little piece on the 2023 S4 to bring back some of those old memories. Coming around through the three quarter rear view of the 2023 S4. And honestly, I'm not sure how anyone could not opt for the black optics package in this case because it looks so much better i think even the taillights in this case they look a little smoked especially compared to the normal a4 but i'm not sure if this is part of the black optics package but i do think it looks great i don't like when you black out like completely black out the taillights because you lose all the design features that you you can't really appreciate what goes on inside the light when you have this but having this like a 25% tint on the taillights, it just looks really nice. And up top here, we do have a body colored uh, uh, trunk spoiler. So this is interesting because down low and here in the center, even the logos are blacked out. So it's interesting that they decided to go with a body colored spoiler for this case. Uh, would look good in black as well, but having it in body color makes it feel like it's an integrated ducktail in the rear end. So I'm, I like both. Now there is one detail here that I do prefer on the S5 and the A5 compared to the uh, S4 and A4 in this case. And that is the, this, this piece right here. I'm not so sure why Audi put this curvature into the taillights. It makes it look a little less confident than what we have in the A5 and the S5 design. But it still looks good and it kind of blends in to the rest of the design here. Then we have a proper bumper section, a separation here from the top part of the graphics and the lower section with the beautiful blacked out diffuser in the S5. If you remember, not black optics package. These were chrome tips or silver. In this case, they're all black. And I would, again, 100% to go with this package to black out everything that we have on the car. Now, one last detail on the rear before we jump into the interior. I know it's been a long exterior design analysis of the S4, but that is because I love this design. Look at this integration of the uh, spoiler up top, the trunk spoiler, it almost has the same curvature, follows the same curvature that we have in this area and then goes just adds a little bit of sharpness on top here. Audi calls this style a nail spoiler and you can clearly see why. It's sharp as a nail and creates a clear end point for the rear end of the design, just beautifully done. Welcome guys to the gorgeous, as always, in all 2023 Audi models, the beautiful interior. Let's fire this three liter V6 up. Let's get some air blowing in here. Again, very easily done because we have, thankfully, in new Audis, we still have physical buttons for the climate control selling. Let's turn the hazards off. 10.1 inch infotainment screen up here, the integration, not so sure about that. 
but it's okay because we have everything else I want in an Audi interior is in here in this 2023 S4. For example, the 12.3 inch gauge cluster, all being digital, super configurable. I think Audi is doing the best gauge cluster um, softwares right now because you can have it exactly like you want. And in addition to that, we have a 90s style housing for it. So everything is all good with this interior. I love what's going on here. As I said, the integration of this infotainment screen, 10.1 inch, could be a little better for sure. This looks like, you know, a, j just something that they slapped as an afterthought onto the, uh, the, the interior. It doesn't look very well integrated, but as I said, that's okay. And inside here, you have all the uh, important features. You have navigation, you have, can go into vehicle, set up your vehicle as you want. Audi Drive Select, for example, you can set up the individual setting to uh, customize it exactly how you want the car to drive when you're in the individual setting. You have the three uh, drive modes. You have Comfort, Auto, Dynamic. We're in Dynamic right now, so let's put it in Comfort and it's going to quiet down the exhaust just a little bit, which is nice when you're recording the interior features. Let's turn down the AC as well, one setting in the fan speed. Moving further down, you have this beautiful integration of the carbon fiber pieces here. This is what I love that Audi is doing with their S models to separate them from the, um, the regular A4. It's to just add some special touches in here, such as this carbon fiber looking fantastic. Looks like this entire piece here is a full length vent from the passenger vent going through here into these sections, but it's obviously not a vent in this area, but there are vents from the 80s. So everybody, even if you're 95 years old, you're still gonna manage to figure out how to operate these vents, no problems at all. Further down, have a look at this gorgeous integration. This is what Audi does in the A5 and S5 as well. This nice styling. So this is what I love when interiors look like this, because it feels like, the effort that the exterior designers are sketching on during their workday at Audi in Ingolstadt, it feels like the interior designers had the same amount of effort in this interior with this integration of the climate controls here and the styling, the outline, the border for it. You also have the dials for the uh, climate control temperature, very easily done. And when you swipe your finger over here, you don't even have to touch these buttons and it still recognizes exactly what it is you want to adjust. It feels nice, high quality. These clicks just feels solid and that's how it should be because it is after all an Audi, it's a premium product. Inside this uh, S4, you also have heated seats right there. You don't have cooled seats in this case. I would love to have that right now because it is 92 degrees out. Further down, you have the Audi drive select button. So this is where you select your drive modes. You have the auto shut off for the engine on and off. Let's turn that off, traction control off, parking sensors. And if you're sick of this 10.1 inch infotainment screen, all you gotta do, you don't wanna look at it. You, you, you don't want anything to do with it. All you gotta do is press this button and it turns itself off. If you wanna turn it on, you can either press it again or just tap the screen and the screen turns back on. Down here, you do have a USB port, just a single USB, not a USB-C, it's just a regular old USB port. You also have the start buttons and a couple of cup holders. Further back, you do have a bit of a storage compartment right here for, it doesn't even fit a big pen. So I'm sorry, if you wanna sketch, you might fit two markers up here, but you can't have them down here. Gear selected looking very nice and sturdy, perforated leather with the red stitching coming back in this gear selector as well as on the seats, putting it into reverse. Let's check out this reverse camera. You do have trajectory lines, very fisheye lens on this reverse camera, which is all fine. It's still gonna show you all the big obstacles that you need to avoid when you're reversing, obviously. See if we have some more camera settings. You have the graphic camera, so you can have the 360 camera be either sensors with some graphic on it, or you can just have it be a proper camera and show you in real time what's around you. I love that you have the S logo on this design inside of this uh, housing for the gear selector. You have the parking brake here, volume control, a single lonely island over here by itself. Interesting position for it. Sound system sounds pretty decent. You have another very tiny compartment here. I'm not sure what you can put in here. Maybe it, a credit card or something like that can fit in here. Further back, you do have the beautiful armrest. I, do, I just love this red stitching on this uh, black leather because I know that the exterior is a bright red. So that red coming back in small little details in here 
just spot on with this spec. Lifting this up, you do have the wireless charging down here and some long storage. And this is definitely where you can fit a couple of big pens and a few markers for those times you feel the need to just pick up a sketchbook and sketch something. Now, looking at these seats, absolutely gorgeous seats. Of course, they're power adjustable. We do have the S logo in the backrest with the red stitching going all along it and the cross diamond stitching in the middle. Just a fantastic touch and they are very sporty as well with this solid bolstering on the sides. Looking very nice. Moving on to the steering wheel. And if you've been in newer Audis recently, this is pretty much the steering wheel you're gonna get with the perforated leather on the sides normal leather on the top and the bottom, the S logo in this metallic piece. I kind of want to have this be black because everything on the outside is black. This is the same uh, finish that you have when you don't have the black optics package. So I'm going to make this black. You have the grill coming back. You can't avoid this big grill that we have in the front end because you can see it right here in the center of the steering wheel. So it haunts you throughout this car. On the right side, you do have the controls for the heated steering wheel, the volume control, the voice command. On the left side is everything you know, to configure the gauge cluster. So have a look at this. If you press view, you can have the gauges, the tachometer, speedometer be big or small. And then you can configure whatever you want to have in the centerpiece of the display. I think it's such a cool solution from Audi to have this uh, integration and that you can customize it exactly like you want because that's the whole point of having a digital gauge cluster. Pixels moving around, why not have it be configurable? On the left side, you do have the controls for the light settings and you have a bit of a storage underneath it as well. Looking up top, I forgot that this is open. Maybe that's why it's a little bit hotter in here than usual. So let's close this standard size sunroof that we have up top. I feel like I'm sitting a little bit too high. So let's lower myself down with, of course, power adjustable seats. Last but not least, do we have a glove box in the uh, 2023 Audi S3? Of course we do. And it is actually pretty big. With that said, let's jump into the back seat and let's check that out. This being the mid-size sedan, it's interesting to see if I fit behind my own driving position being 6'1", and of course I do fit back here, no problems at all. I can even sit weirdly like they do in all reviews when they have the legs straight forward. I don't think anybody actually sits like that when they're in the back seat. Normally we sit like this. I would assume and most people do that. You have a pocket in the front end, you have the uh, climate control settings for the third zone back here looking very nice and easy to do. You don't have the heated seats back here. I think that's an option for the A4 and S4. I know it's available for the S5. Further down, you do have two USB slots, regular USB and a 12 volt. If we fold down the center armrest, you're going to get this Audi Transformers cup holders in the centerpiece looking very cool. Audi S4 2023 model year. Let's see how this goes. We are setting off in the 2023 Audi S4. What a legendary nameplate that is. Brings back, brings back so many memories for me uh, from my sort of internship that I talked about earlier. And just Audis, S4s and RS4s, they've always, I've always been a huge fan of those designs because they're so subtle. They just tweak some tiny changes to the exterior design. And when you know, you know. If you, if you don't like cars, you thought you're gonna think it's just another A4. And that's what I love about the executive performance uh, styling that I think Audi has compared to BMW. It's a little bit more shouty, but still looks cool. So what do we have under the hood on this Audi S4? Well, it is the exact same. powertrain, the same beautiful powertrain that we have in the Audi uh, S5, which is a 3-liter turbocharged V6, putting out 349 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque. And it feels very torquey, this engine. I love it. it put, you really feel that it's pulling you forward. It's a very nice feeling of acceleration. 0 to 60 in this is a little, just a tad bit slower than the S5 at 4.4, 4.5 seconds for this one, 0 to 60, which again is, is, is not bad. It's, as I said in the uh, S5 review, it's in this sweet spot of acceleration. It doesn't scare the crap out of you when you're stepping on it, but it's still fast. 
let's you know what let's put it into manual with this eight speed automatic transmission and let's see how quickly we can get this to shift when we're stepping on it right after this turn are you ready for this let's go yes the thing is i i'm not sure if you need the you know if you like driving if you're an audi's sport models not sure if you really need to spend the what is it 15 i i'm not i don't know 15 20 000 more for the rs4 or the rs5 because this just feels so good to drive let's bring it down to first oh crackles in the exhaust i didn't hear that in the s5 there is also at the very top you have this wine i'm not sure what where that's coming from probably the turbos would be my guess but it sounds really cool and of course since you have uh the uh quattro all-wheel drive which means that you have all the grip in the world in this car and that's you know audi quattro rally they've been around for a very long time they know what they're doing when it comes to the uh four-wheel drive system uh, we're always drive system and that's the case with this car as well i love the crackles that we have in the in in the back it just sounds so good mm. very nice love this powertrain honestly personally i wouldn't need i feel i don't feel like i need more power than this it's, it's like a very nice um spot to have in a, in a car this size to have 350 horsepower i think that's perfectly fine downshift sounds good and they're also quick both the upshifts and the downshifts feel very nice empty streets let's go one more time here This is so addictive to have this type of power and the all-wheel drive and the noise. It's so good. Question is, would I personally pick the, uh, a, uh, the S5 Sportback or the S4 Sedan? The thing is, generally, I'm always favoring sedans and I think that's the case here too. Even though the, the taillights of the S5, I wish we had those on the on the back of the A4 here or S4, but that's just such a tiny little uh, detail that it doesn't really bother me that much. So in this case, and they cost pretty much the same. So it's up to you. Do you want the S5 Sportback or the S4 Sedan? In this case, for me, it's going to have to be the S4 Sedan. You know what, I forgot that we have massage and seats on here, so intensity three out of three. Do we want wave, need, or stretch? Let's try stretch. Not really feeling anything with stretch, so the button's on the side of the seat, by the way. If you ever find yourself in an Audi and want some massage, that's how you do it. Intensity, of course, back up to three obviously oh now i feel it it feels pretty good i just love the noise in this thing i i don't think we had that top rev wine even though it is the same powertrain but i didn't notice it in the uh in the um s5 sportback that i'm noticing right here sounds really good and we gotta talk about this spec. As I said, this is probably the spec that I would personally pick for an Audi S4 2023 model year. Love the red, love the black interior with the red small stitching and the red accents in here, looking fantastic. Huge thanks to Audi Denver for providing this vehicle for me to review for you guys today. If you're interested in this vehicle, of course, I'm gonna link it down in the description or simply go to audidenver.com. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.